my beloved students i hope you all are well in the previous class we learned about adjective clause now we are going to learn about adverbial clause adverbial clause is the clause which does the work of adverb so what is adverb adverb what is adverb adverb always qualifies all other parts of speech except noun and pronoun and also qualifies a sentence he works slowly this is verb how work slowly so the word slowly qualifies the word work that is verb so this is adverb he runs very fast here first qualifies the word run so this is adverb very qualifies fast how fast very fast this is for oh, this qualifies fast okay this is also adverb he is a he is a very good boy here good adjective how good very good that is qualifies very the word very qualifies the word good which is adjective so this is also adverb in this way the word which qualifies all other parts of it except noun and pronoun and also a sentence is called an called a adverb <clears throat> now we will see when adverb where close is past if the clause indicates time this will be adverbial clause while i was walking along the road i found a dead cow here while i was walking along the road this is the clause which indicates time when i found a dead cow while i was walking along the road that is this clause indicates time so this is called adverbial clause adverbial clause we can find by asking the question hoy with the main verb if we ask a question hoy with the main verb we find the adverbial clause number 2 place 
adverbial close can also mean a place i shall go where he lives where he lives this close indicates the place of go where i go where i go where he lives that is this is the place of the verb go that is where here we will ask a question where with the main verb then we will find the answer and that answer will be the adverbial clause so this is adverbial clause region or cause where close means region or cause is also an adverbial clause as he was ill he could not go to school the main clause he could not go to school why he could not go to school as or since he was ill that is this is the reason here we find reason so this is this clause is adverbial clause when we he be asked the question by adding why with the uh, to the main verb if we ask a question with why to the main verb then we will find adverbial clause i dislike him because he is lazy here who is the adverbial clause because he is lazy this is adverbial clause big why why i dislike him because he is lazy that is this clause is the reason of my dislike so here because he is lazy this is adverbial clause <clears throat> manner manner what is manner the process how here we ask the question with how with the main verb he did the work as i told him he did the work how he did the work as i told him that is this is this clause indicates the process of his doing the work so this how here we prosto how as i told him so this is called 
Tidal cross. This indicates mirror crosses. Another example. Do as you like. Do how as you like. That is, you like some way, and you can do that in that way. So, do how do as you like. So, this is this indicates manner, and this is adverbial clause. Number five. Result or consequence result the clause who is the subordinate clause who is the result of a cause is called ad adverbial clause for example The milk is so hot that I cannot drink it. That I cannot drink it. This clause is the result of hot milk. The milk is hot, so I cannot drink it. This is the result. And here is the here is the reason. And here is the result. So this clause is called adverbial clause. This is main clause. We are we must find out who is a subordinate clause. This is subordinate clause. Here you can follow the structure so plus adjective. This is so plus what adjective so plus adjective that plus subject okay this is the structure that can help you to determine the adverbial clause indicating result Number six, purpose. Here the clause, the sub adverbial clause in, is introduced by so that in order that. etc he works hard so that he can prosper in life he works hard so that he can prosper in life. So that he can prosper in life. This clause indicates the purpose of working hard. And here you can become confused with purpose and cause. When, he, when it indicates purpose, you will find that this is really a future event. This is Will, this will happen in future. He works hard so that he can 
prostate that is this is the purpose and this is called adverbial cross condition this is the condition now if you come i shall help you if you come i shall help you this is this is the condition i shall help you hoy if you come that is the condition on this condition on the condition that you will you come and i shall help you so this is called adverbial clause unless you work hard that is we can say if you do not work hard you will not succeed unless you work hard this is the condition you work hard then you will succeed if you do not work hard you will not succeed so this is the condition unless means here if not unless equal to if not uh, either unless you work hard or you do not if you do not work hard you will not succeed so this clause is adverbial clause conditional sentences are also included here conditional sentences are of three types first conditional i have already told you if that is e plus present user i have already told you the example if you come i shall help you this is first conditional second conditional e plus subject or or b to that is e b for here e here will be where all time always in another verb in place of another verb that will will be b to subject could could might plus b on if i or a bird i would fly in the sky this is imaginary part e 
if I wire a card, I imagine that I am a bird and I will fly in the sky. So this is this is impossible. Uh, almost impossible. This is also called adverbial course. If I if I had been a bird, I would I would have flown in the sky. Here, if I had been a bird, this is past perfect. That is had plus V3. Here will be, I would have, could have, might have. This is called third conditional. And this part is quite impossible. There is no possibility. Concession. Next and concession here opposite ideas are contained in both parts. For example, though He has vast riches. He is unhappy. He has vast riches, so he should be happy, but he is unhappy. That is, this part is opposite to this part. So, this is adverbial clause. This is all about adverbial clause. In, in the next class, we will see again. May God bless you. Okay.